focus, so I would want to be uh, careful before I get out from any of them. But I think, as I've said leading up to session, there is some interest to make sure we uh, provide support when it comes to maternal health and other things. I haven't had the, um, the, I have not had the time to sit down and meet with our members. That's kind of their area of expertise. So I'd want to do that um, before maybe we had a little further discussion. It includes a couple provisions um, that is already running in individual bills through the House and Senate, um, medical malpractice and uh, rural emergency hospitals. Yep. Would you prefer those to be separate bills or one large? Well, I think right now, obviously, those that looks like the path that we're going down. Um, I think that the governor is in a position where she can release some larger proposals that obviously we can decide which of those things we want to move. Uh, a couple that you just touched on, like the, the rural hospital piece, obviously is one of the priority bills that we laid out early in session. So I wouldn't look at that as a negative or a positive in any sense, just uh, a different approach with similar issues. And then one more just about um, behind the counter, oh, I forget the term, but birth control without a prescription. Um, is that going to have support? With, with such a brand new caucus, we've discussed that issue in the past, uh, but with 24 new members, I'd be really going on a limb to tell you what they think of that piece. In the past, we've had mixed reviews within the caucus, but with that many new members, uh, I don't. we really have not had that conversation to be able to gauge what the entire uh, opinion would be from all the members. What about the, the medical